Thank you, Gorilla. We're rolling right along. And ladies and gentlemen, this is an exciting match. A ladies' match on TBS from the World Wrestling Federation. Our next event, uh, introducing first, and a champion herself, and of course a veteran ring competitor from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at 150 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, Donna Christiantello. Donna Christiantello. Ladies and gentlemen, her opponent, the former ladies champion, who last year in 1984 won the ladies championship from the venerable, fabulous Moolah. And of course, she excited wrestling fans, millions of them all over the world, and would like to regain that ladies championship under the managership now of Cindy Lauper. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dallas, Texas, coming toward the ring, the former ladies champion, here comes Wendy Richter! What an exciting individual. Currently being managed by Cindy Lauper. A rock and roll connection. Bell's gone and we're underway. Donna Christianello, a ring veteran for many, many years. This certainly would be a great thing if she could get a win right here on Georgia Championship Wrestling over the likes of a Wendy Richter, who has really been out of shape lately about dropping her title in Madison Square Garden to Leilani Kai. And what a confrontation that was. Yours truly was doing the color commentary at ringside at that event. And wow, there were so many things that went down. Uh, Fabulous one got involved, had Cindy Lauper down on the concrete floor in Madison Square Garden by the throat. If you can visualize that. And while all that was transpiring, Leilani Kai snuck a fall in on Wendy Richter and became the new woman's champion. But Wendy is really determined, as well as Cindy Lauper is, to get that title back at any cost, pull out all the stops, go out and do it. Can't wait for it, folks. Wendy always stays in extra shape. Nice arm drag. Takes Donna over. And in control of the match. Wendy should think about putting that hair of hers up in some kind of a ponytail or something. Because so many individuals take advantage of that. I don't know. It seemed to me like to be a good idea. Nice single leg trip. Still with the arm bar advantage. Oh, showing us some strength there. She jerks Donna up off the canvas and let her go down very gingerly, I might say. Fans just loving it here. As Georgia Championship Wrestling continues to bring you the best in professional wrestling. Snap with the arm. Takes her right over and in control, Wendy Richter. Still to come this week, folks. JYD. The Juker gets everybody going. What an outstanding individual. Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion Craig the Hammer Valentine due to appear with us. And a big guy waving all the money around. Big John Scott. But let's not forget what we've got. Polish Power, Ivan Putsky, Brutus Keith George Wells, King Kong Bundy. This just goes on and on. An unbelievable two hours of professional wrestling here on Georgia Championship Wrestling. Tables have turned somewhat now. Wow, there, there, uh, that's what I was talking about. Handful of hair, Donnie, use it. Take Wendy over backwards. Now Wendy's reached the ropes. Referee's arguing with Donna, doesn't see it. Gonna make or break it now. He's finally saw it. Wow. Stomped right on the forearm. Donna in control of this match. How quick the tide can turn. The momentum changes so rapidly in professional wrestling that you have to be on top of the situation at all times. Donna Christantello going to work on the left arm. Once again there, I believe she had a handful of hair once again. With that hammerlock, just took Wendy down to the canvas. And you got that little bit of extra added advantage. Leverage. Ah, look at Donna now biting the fingers. Can't believe Donna, don't you? Can't believe you're doing that, Donna. Come on, ref. Give me a break. Get around in front there. 
I, I can't understand why the referee's on the other side to begin with. It's not a pinning combination. And Wendy's certainly not going to submit from this kind of a maneuver. So why be in that position? And afford Donna that luxury. Well, thankless job for the referee. It's a no-win situation, but it certainly helps to know the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch. Donna still in control as she wheels with that hammerlock. Now, oh, single leg pick by Wendy. Gets out temporarily. Front face lock by the former champion. Nice wrestling maneuver. And Donna ends up with a step over toe hold. Oh, look at this. Reaching over. She's got a hold of the second rope now. The referee doesn't see it. Very clever wrestler, Donna Kristen Pello. Been around a long time, knows all the ins and outs. Real ring veteran, once again, using the ropes to her advantage. Referee looks up, doesn't see the rope moving. His ropes are very tight. Donna said, I don't know what you're looking at me for. Count it down. Well, when to use the foot right under the chin to get out of that, reverse the hole completely, and now she's got the step over toe hole. Former champion winding it up here. Wow, that'll stretch out your hamstrings between now and next week. Now for the cover. I don't think she'll get her. No. It's going to take more than that to beat the likes of Adonis Cristantello. Oh, Wendy helping herself with a couple of handfuls of hair. And a big forearm. Dragging Donna once again to the center of the ring. Going to stretch it out here again. Wow. Boy, that is painful. Oh, well, I know how many times I've felt that over the years. Now controlling with this same leg lock. Wow, that takes power to do that. Group strength on the part of the former champion. As she once again has turned the tables on Donna and is in control. Very impressive victory this week by Brutus Beefcake as he just stunned the audience here and just annihilating his opponent. Poor Tony Fox uh, didn't have a too good a day at Georgia Championship Wrestling. Right on top of the situation, Donna kicks right out of there. Front face lock now, a little choking going on underneath there. Tito Santana took care of the snake Brown with his patented figure four leg lock that he hopes someday to be able to slap on to a gentleman who will be coming up shortly in our program, Greg the Hammer Lock. And reverse chin lock now by Donna. As once again the tide has turned several times back and forth. It's a weaving situation. Nice bridge there by the former champ, but down she goes. And Donna reaching around behind has a handful of hair, I'm sure. To the blind side once again of the referee. Choke, referee! Choke! Yeah, well, Donna. The referee didn't expect her to admit that she was doing that. My God, give me a break. Once again, the same situation. Fans can all see it. They're hollering. She's pulling the hair. I'm surprised how much of an added advantage that is. Wendy resorted to one of Donna's tactics and bit her fingers to get out of that hole. Well, I guess you get out whatever way you can. Wow, vicious slingshot. Off the ropes, right on the throat of Wendy Richter as down she goes. And Cristinello once again in control of this match. Setting her up again, strangle over that top rope and slingshots her back once more. Referee admonishing him, but after the fact, so the damage has already been done. Champ backs Donna, former champ backs Donna into the ropes. Shoulder right into the midsection, and another one. Wendy says, come on, get out of the ropes. Let's get it on. Let's do it. What determination in this individual. As her sights are set on only one thing. Beautiful drop kick. And that's getting that title back. Donna tried to roll out from underneath. She knew the vengeance was coming. But Wendy wouldn't let her now as she drags her back in. Donna now trying to climb up the ropes in the center point. You can't do that. Wow. Donna stuck between the ropes here. Oh, and she's just at the mercy now of Wendy. 
and Wendy added extra leverage on the reverse side of the ring. Referee counting, but the referee should be over here turning Donna loose. Wow, she's just at Wendy's mercy right now. Well, she can get out now, but she has a chance of falling head first onto the concrete floor while she got her legs underneath her. Thank God for that. Snap mare over the top, brings her in the hard way. Look out, slingshot coming up. Wow, Donna, three quarters of the way across the ring, face first. And Wendy right on top of the situation. Says, let me do it one more time. Wow, that's got to take its toll. Champion over for the cover. No. Donna slips out the back door. I'm afraid you're going to have to get Donna a little more beaten down like that than the, the, the Pindus ring veteran. Sam now comes up on top with the hole, but underneath the bottom rope is her opponent forced to break it. Slam now. Wendy, wow, she just drove her down. Look out now. Ricked up on a second turnbuckle on the inside. Off, big splash, nobody home. The lights were on, but no one was there. The Wendy's hurt. Doesn't look good for the former champion as down she goes. And Donna in control, setting her up now. Shoulder block, sends Wendy down. Donna coming off again. Missed that one. Wendy right in behind her. Roll up sunset flip. She could get her here to nice bridge. We got a, she got the two count. A little hesitation there on the part of the referee, I guess, because Wendy was coming back with that bridge, but <laughs> nice maneuver by the former champion. As she gets the Duke. And Donna's not too happy about it, complaining about pulling the tights. And Wendy says, well, take that for your efforts. Let's go back in time just a few moments and take a look at it. Here she comes off the ropes. Nice roll up here into that sunset clip. What leverage. Now look at this bridge backwards by the former champion. Referee right down there for the count. Unreal. Action still going on as Donna wasn't satisfied. Outside the ring, we're back live inside the ring as former champion Wendy Richter had to clear the ring of not only Donna Cristarella but the referee as well. Look at her, she a determined individual as she got her sights back on getting her title back. You can bet on that. Unbelievable action here on.